Asthma is a worldwide health issue. In Australia alone, it affects around 2.7 million people. I suffered from it as a child, my brothers have it, and my son is asthmatic. So I know the difference this new innovation will make. This is a smart inhaler. It looks pretty futuristic to me, but what does it actually do? So it's got a bunch of sensors in it, and it measures when the inhaler is used and how it's used. Things like is the inhaler installed or removed, the dose being dispensed, and then it measures things like your inhalation, the depth of your inhalation, the timing of your inhalation, did you prime the inhaler, did you shake it correctly. There's two main problems in asthma. The first is adherence, taking your preventative medication regularly and at the right time. So for that, we've got a beeper that will go off at preset times to remind you to take it. So I could be at the movies and my pocket starts beeping. So you just take your inhaler and it will stop. And the second thing is using your inhaler correctly. So there's a number of things that you have to get in sequence to get the optimal dose. Mike, I didn't think it was that tricky. Don't you just kind of put it in your mouth and suck on it? Yeah, you could give it a go. Now, tell me this is safe. Tell me this has not got any of your kind of drugs in here. Ah, uh, it's a dummy, so you can go ahead. It's a dummy, yeah. okay. Mike, I've got a red light. That can't be a good thing. Well, it looks like you just didn't inhale quite strongly enough, but you also need to shake the inhaler before you use it. And oh, hold you it told upright. me that, didn't you? Try again. Here we go, green light, Mike. We're on fire. So these are all smart inhalers that you've designed? Yes. Quite a design challenge, really. Where it gets really exciting for me is what you do with all that data. Well, that's where the power of the Bluetooth and the phone app comes into it. We've developed an app which connects to the inhaler's sensors, and it shows the patient how much they've been prescribed of each of their medications and how much they've taken today. It's quite a simple app to use. You can set up reminders to beep on your puffer, or you can get reminders to be sent via a message to your phone. The other important thing is it keeps a history of your medication usage. The data from your app is sent via a secure connection to the cloud, and your doctor can log in to the portal and see how you've been tracking to your medication usage over time. This data can be anonymized from thousands of patients to be used in clinical trials to better asthma research. This is a great innovation. I wish we had these when I was up all night in an emergency award years ago with my son. The Haley is one very smart asthma inhaler. This next innovation comes from a successful small business that has runs on the board for getting kids off their screens and up and about. Well, it's always all about the kids. Yeah. Uh, our eldest daughter loved monkey bars in kindergarten and she wanted them at home and anything that keeps them active and outdoors, we were all for. We just couldn't buy it. We couldn't buy something that Shane didn't need to shovel into the ground. He's not that handy with his hands. <laughs> the idea was without shoveling into the ground that um, we could have a monkey bar in our backyard that could grow with the kids and that's and it's the kept growing. Came. And it's kept growing. But I thought, surely we can come up with a design that doesn't need to be concreted in and yeah. can be freestanding and make it easy for parents. Yeah. And that's what we did, and we came up with the first design, which was the original, which is the one hanging on the wall there. But was that in your house? That was in our house, <laughs> yeah, and we call it the original for that and reason. This one is number two? Orangutan and then the gorilla. And basically right. all of our frames stem from those three frames. Right. As you know, it's a modular system, so yeah. the idea is that parents start with a small frame and as their kids grow and as they have bigger space or more budget, they can add and add and add yeah. to it. I'm an engineer by trade and um, mainly mechanical and piping. My thing was to look at monkey bars and redesign it from the start. It was already a concept, Shane already had a model and then I looked at it and said, I think you can make this better. So we already had a base level which was somewhere around about eight years old. Well, what happens once they get to 12? And this is a new one. This is the Combat. Combat Ninja for um, older kids, yep. teenagers, and right into adults. Um, had family come in the other day, they've got no kids, late 30s, and they brought one of these for their backyard. This is a component that holds it all together. It's a 120 degree angle, Right. comes up, it gives the angle up, 
straight bit right. and then there's another one down. There's a load of interconnecting tubes into this. It right. will go into here. There'll be tubes that come this way. Sure. And another tube that comes down from here. Yeah. It's all part of becoming a parent and wanting to encourage your kids to do something that they're good at and to encourage them to do the things that are good for them. And get off the screens. Get off the screens. And it was about the time when screens were starting yeah. to take over and there was the gap for monkey bars that were actually getting taken out of playgrounds yeah. for fear of a child falling. Mm. And they were wrapping kids in cotton wool. You don't want that for your children. They need to take risk and they need to challenge themselves because that builds them resilience for life. I am so impressed by the professionalism and the passion of these guys. Not ones to rest on their laurels, they have pushed the boundaries of kids' play even further.